I said after the test match in Gaul that in boxing terms, Sri Lanka are not in India's weight category. Now, you can get carried away by that wonderful, really admirable second innings fight back from Sri Lanka and say, right, is that still valid? And I'm afraid the answer is yes, because you look at the whole picture. If a team makes 622 in the first inning, then wins by an innings and 53 runs, then I'm afraid there really was only one team in the contest. Sri Lanka's best moments came when the game was already gone and they were trying to make the most of it. You don't win test matches like that. Now let's look at the match winners on either side. Who's done well for India? Chiteshwar Pujara has got 200s. Ajinkya Rahane has got a very, very high quality century. He calls it one of the best innings against spin that he has played. Virat Kohli got a second innings 100 in goal. Shikhar Dhawan has got a dominant century in goal. Lokesh Rahul has slotted in again with a very classy half century. Then you go down. Ashwin's got runs. Saha's got runs. Jadeja's got runs. Hardik Pandya's chipped in here and there. He's got a few runs. He's picked up a couple of wickets here and there. Uh, Umesh Yadav and Mohammad Shami, the support cast, have given you wickets with a new ball. Just come back and finish it all. And then the spinners are, are genuinely winning you matches. So if you look from a Sri Lankan perspective, how do you beat India? They've got 600 in each of uh, uh, the two test matches that they have played. And you're thinking if you're Sri Lanka, how do we get all of them out? Now look at from India's point of view. Who they have? do they have up against them? Are there any match winners in the Sri Lankan side? Before the series started, you thought there was one. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite a fan of Ranga Naherat, but I think from what we've seen so far, he's coming to the end. He's, he's 39 years old and that's no disrespect to him, but clearly he's seen his best days. Nuan Pradeep looked good, he's going to be out as well. And so who do Sri Lanka have to stop this rampaging Indian side? There's one player, well two really, who covered themselves with glory but they're both batsmen and they're both second innings players. I thought Karuna Ratne was excellent, playing late on the back foot, there's something about him. But he averages mid-30s, there must be a reason for that. He's not playing dominant innings at the start of the test match and setting it up. And there's something about Kushal Mendes. I mean, you're going to hear a lot of him. He's still averaging in the mid-30s. He's only 22 years old, he's finding his way in test cricket. He's already had three centuries to remember. But if he is Sri Lanka's biggest batting match winner or potentially biggest batting match winner, then uh, you're looking down the barrel a little bit. So in India win in goal, India win easily in goal, India win easily in Colombo. The series is done. India go to Palikeli thinking, right, maybe we can win the series. Sri Lanka thinking, how do we stop this side? That in a nutshell is the difference between the two sides.